Okay, in this lesson we're going to go ahead and design the database for our ASP.NET MVC program. So I'll go ahead and start up Visual uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and I'll go ahead and create a database. We'll call it My Task List. So we'll go ahead and let that create and under the new database that is created you'll notice there are no tables so I'll go ahead and start and I'll create some tables for our sample database here. So the first column I'm going to put in is a task ID and I'm going to make that of type integer. So I'll go ahead and select that. And I'll also go ahead and select that this will be our primary key. Each of our tables will need a primary key. So the next thing I'm putting in is a task which will be the um, basic uh, description of our task in our task list database. And I'll make that a var car and I'll set that to be a blank uh, let's go ahead and make it uh, 40. So I'll select that and I, I won't allow it to be null. And then our next field we'll put in is a description. And I'm going to go ahead and make that just a little bit longer. I'll also make that a var car, but I'll make that uh, 80 characters long. And I'll allow that to be null. Next we'll put in a date for our task, a date that our task is due. And I'll make that of type date. I'll also allow that to be nullable. And then for our last field, I'm going to put a priority in. So I'll go ahead and put that in. And I'll, I'm going to select that to be of type integer, or int. I'll select that. And I'll also not allow nulls in that field. So I'll go ahead and close this out. And when I close the table, it's going to ask for a name for our table, which I'm going to be selected as task. Now you notice the table doesn't show up, but if I hit refresh, then our task name shows up. So in the Management Studio, you'll frequently have to hit refresh to make sure you're getting the latest uh, changes. So I'll go ahead and create a second table. This will be our lookup table. So I'm going to put in a priority ID. And I'm going to select that to be of type int. And that will also be our primary key for this table. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in a description. So this will be the first column will be our integer value. And then the description will be the priority for our task, which will be probably low, medium, high. Um, when we go ahead and create our system, we can enter in some values for that. So I won't allow uh, that table to be, uh, that column rather, to be null. So I'll go ahead and close this out. And also, similarly to our first table, it'll ask for a name. So I'll name this table priorities. So now, we're just about complete with our database, but there's one task that we have to put in. And we're going to design a relationship now. So this is going to be a foreign key relationship. So I'll set relationship underneath the priority column in the task table. And when this foreign key relationship manager comes up, I'll select that I want to add a new relationship. And now it's going to ask me what my primary key table is. Well, my primary key table is going to be priorities. And the column I select is going to be the priority ID. The foreign key table is going to be the task table. And, I'll, and the priority is the column that we want there. So we'll go ahead and select OK. We'll close this out. And when I close the table out, then it'll go ahead and make the changes that we desire for this uh, columns in the table. So now our foreign key relationship exists. And that's really it for our database. In the next lesson, We'll go ahead and create our Visual Studio project, and we'll, we'll then reverse engineer the database with the entity framework. So that's really it for this lesson, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.